Welcome to Beatrice Mennonite Church. We're doing another service today with our friends from the Holmesville Church of the Brethren, and we have a special service today with a kids program. So this is going to be fantastic. This is our last kind of celebration of Christmas. And you know, when I think about Christmas, I think we do a good job sometimes of anticipating Christmas. But we don't always do a good job of celebrating. We have this one day and then it's over. You know, they used to go at least 12 full days for the feast of Christmas. So let's do Christmas just a little bit longer. It's okay if you've taken your tree down. You can go put it up right now if you'd like. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that you are good. We thank you that you are loving. We thank you that you are near. Holy Spirit, guide our hearts this morning. Guide us to your truth, to your love, to your peace, and to your joy. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. It takes strength to dream. I imagine it's that same strength that leads people to say I love you first. Those three vulnerable words, wrapped in heartstrings, whispered, because what could be is too good to keep quiet about. It takes strength to choose joy. It takes strength to push the covers off our weary bodies morning after morning, to plant weary feet on solid ground and look for signs of beauty. It takes strength to remember that we are not alone, but the story starts with bone of bone and flesh of flesh. That feels like so long ago. Oh yes, it takes strength to dream. I imagine that's why many choose not to, for it would be far easier to simply sleep. But there are always those who dream, those who are up at night picturing what could be, because this world is too good not to. So we say, I love you. We push the covers off. We find solid ground. We look for beauty. And we dream. We dare to dream. On the Good way. Week. On the way to Bethlehem, to Bethlehem, on along the dusty road, on the walk a dusty road, a little donkey carries a little donkey carries a very special load, a very special load. Going quickly, there is no place to stay except a little stable filled with straw and hay. That night in the stable is born a baby boy, a very special child, Friday, happiness and joy. Outside the night is cold, the shepherds do not sleep. They sit high on the hillside watching over their sheep. High above the shepherds, then high above the shepherds, the sky is filled with light, the sky is very white, an angel comes to tell them, an angel comes to tell them, your king is born tonight, your king is born tonight. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. Angels, we have heard on high, sweetly singing all the things, and the mountains in reply, echoing. It's 
Light will help two guys, three wise men from afford. The wise men have to follow the shiny star so bright until they reach the stable on this very special night. Gold and many presents are gifts the wise men bring. They go into the stable to see their newborn king. Beneath his head, a king born in the stable with a manger for a bed. For God so loved the world, he, came, he gave us his son, the true gift of Christmas. It is, it is, it is for everyone. The, through that little baby, God showed us our worth that an expected way to bring God's peace on earth. I thought I'd take a little bit of a moment to acknowledge that things have been crazy in this little country we live in, the United States. And we've seen violence on TV, we've seen it incited, we've seen all kinds of mixed of information all thrown around. And so where does that leave us in this? Well, friends, I continue to believe that the person in charge today is the same person who was in charge long before those people stormed that building. That Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is king, that hope is greater than despair, love is greater than fear, Jesus has overcome death. We are an entirely different type of citizen here living in the United States. We are citizens of heaven. We are living out the values of the kingdom of God right here in our midst. We're following the way of Jesus as we turn the other cheek, as we love our enemies, as we go that extra mile because we believe that the coercive power of force and violence does not change the world. The only force powerful enough to change the world is the love of God. And the Holy Spirit is enlightening that love in your heart, in your community, right where you are. You are an ambassador. You are a forward station for the kingdom of God where you are. So let's not despair as the world sometimes feels like it's crumbling around us and it can be scary, because it can. But Jesus is king. Jesus is good. Jesus is loving. Jesus is the kind of person, the kind of God, who instead of conquering his enemies with violence, he dies for their sake so they could have new life in him. Let's keep up the faith Let's keep up the goodness. Let's keep embodying those fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's what the kingdom of God looks like being lived out in our midst. Now let's go and do likewise. The Invisible String by Patrice Karst. To the children of the world and the magic of their strings. Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm and quiet night. Suddenly it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, Mommy, they cried out as they ran to her. Don't worry, you two. It's just the storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared. Mom said, you know we're always together, no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed, said Liza. Mom held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what Mom was holding. I was about your age when my mommy first told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. 
people who love each other are always connected by a very special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do I know it's there? asked Liza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it in your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it tug on my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string? Liza asked. She sure does, said Mom. And best friends like me and Lucy? asked Liza. Best friends, too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, Mom said. Would it reach me even if I were a submarine captain deep in the ocean? asked Jeremy. Yes, Mom said, even there. Or a mountain climber? Even there. A dancer in France? Even there. A jungle explorer? Even there. How about an astronaut out in space? Yes, even there. Then Jeremy quietly asked, Can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, said Mom. Love is stronger than anger, and as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and can't agree about things like what movie to see or what game to play in the back seat or what time to go to bed, oh, that's right, you two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as Mom chased the twins back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were asleep, even though the storm was still making the same loud noises outside. As they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have, and all the strings their friends have, and their friends have, until everyone in the world was connected by invisible strings. And from deep inside, they now could clearly see no one is ever alone. The end. Thank you for worshiping with us this morning. Whether you're local and actually a part of one of our churches physically, or you're far away and just giving this a try, we believe that as we worship, even at different times and at a distance, that we can still worship in one spirit, in one truth, in one love from the Father. So as we conclude our service today, let's take this moment to pray together. So let's pray as best as you know it, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now, friends, receive a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord guide your feet on the paths of righteousness. May God fill you with the joy and the faith of little children this week. And everywhere you go, may you see Jesus at work. Go in God's peace. Amen.